So let's talk about this. It took just one week to see a jury in former President Donald Trump's Manhattan criminal case. But could things move as quickly here in Georgia if the Fulton County election interference case makes it to trial? Investigative reporter Zach Merchant is joining us live tonight to explain. Zach. Well, timing is the big question here as many watch and wait to see if the Fulton County case manages to make it to trial before the November election. Legal experts we talked to today said that the jury selection process is designed to find people who say they can evaluate the case on the merits. The process is set up to allow either the attorneys or the judge to dismiss potential jurors who show they cannot be fair. That winnowing process, though, is what can slow down selection. The Manhattan case managed to make it through the process quicker than most people expected, taking, as you mentioned, just five days. But former DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James says he does not expect to, this to be the case in Fulton County when or if that election interference case makes it to trial. I think it's really a different game because you're dealing with a different jury pool, right? Um, and you're dealing with a different set of background facts because of all the motions and how controversial things have and how messy things have gotten here in Fulton County. Now, James said in cases like this, there's always an element of uncertainty, but he said he wouldn't be surprised if it took more than a few months to seat a jury in this case. So, Zach, he's saying a few months. Any factors he thinks might contribute to that timeline? There are multiple. Let's start with this. People and potential jurors are unpredictable, so take everything with a grain of salt. But Robert James laid out a few factors he said could slow the process here. First, he said the jury pool in Fulton County is more politically diverse than that in Manhattan. He also noted that unlike in Manhattan, here in Fulton County, former President Trump is charged alongside more than a dozen other co-defendants. Each of their attorneys will get a chance to question potential jurors. That slows the process down. And finally, Robert James said that the disqualification saga involving Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis earlier this year that got local, national, and international headlines could have swayed some potential view jurors' views of this case. A lot to juggle. We will, of course, track it all the way through. For now, live in Fulton County, Zach Merchant, 11 Alive News. All right, Zach, we'll see you back here at 5 o'clock for more. We appreciate it.